Welcome to a Red Velvet Ninja's Guide for Maelstrom Authority, a boss in Datascape. You want to have three tanks and three to four healers. You want to bring movement abilities, interrupts, and any group damage buffs. This is a fight where you drop bombs and run away. Unlike most of my other guides, I will have a full video start to finish with some commentary. Alright, Maelstrom Authority, the first thing you should do is get used to using the grappling hooks. The caretaker will give you hooks that you can use to grapple from platform to platform, or to grab other players and bring them to you. I highly suggest changing your hotkeys from the defaults. The actual fight is slightly different every week, based on the platforms you are given. Your raid should plan a route that you wish to take ahead of time, so that when it comes time to evacuate, you can move and move fast. The actual machine you are fighting really only has two abilities. Shatter, which breaks the platform that it's on, the other is Activate Weather Cycle. A quick note on this, Maelstrom Authority will not repeat a weather pattern until a full cycle of weather patterns is complete. No matter which weather pattern you are on, there will be a weather station on two of the four corners. They must be killed and interrupted before they can cast Accelerate Weather. I won't go over Accelerate Weather because it will probably kill you or at least kill most of the raid to the point where you just want to start over. The raid should be set up in three groups, one group consisting of three tanks pointing the boss north, soaking and sharing its delightful cleave, and then two DPS groups. These DPS groups will be responsible for three of the four corners where weather stations can spawn. Many platforms will look like this. Robot smashes onto the platform, you zerg it, heal up, drop bombs, and then book it. A simple hit and run. This happens until you break its absorb shield, then the real fun begins. If you have an air phase, you will be greeted by these lovely wind lines. They deal damage and knock you around, and could knock you off the platform. Watch out for them, especially when you are hoofing it to the corners to kill the weather stations. At 30, 60, and 90% weather cycle, Maelstrom Authority will cast Typhoon, knocking some random people off the platform. They can be saved by using the grappling hook and pulling them back to you. If not, they'll die. The final ability during air phase is wind walls. A few players will have a long rectangular telegraph that they can place. Never place these on the corner or in the way of platforms you want to go to. They will activate, so jump out of the way. Also, they'll start spinning. Lightning phase, the easy one, because you actually skip it. There is a strategy where you spread out evenly and have telegraphs under your feet. We literally just see lightning and run to another platform. Ain't nobody got time for that. The last possible phase is ice phase. Maelstrom Authority will put telegraphs on players, in which they will put down puddles of ice. We tend to place ours right under the giant robot, or along the edges if possible, anywhere people won't run into them. Remember Omna from Genetic Archives? Well this guy has a 360 spew also, don't get hit by it. Finally, Crystallize. Maelstrom Authority will put random players into giant blocks of ice, all clumped up near each other. When the duration on the block ends, either by timing out or by using a movement key, they will explode dealing tons of damage. Your teammates who are not frozen should use their grappling hooks to space you out. If not, there is a very good chance the blocks will explode on each other, killing the players inside. In a nutshell, the platforms will act as a softened rage, giving you only a set amount of platforms to work with until you have nowhere else to go. More often than not, handling mechanics should be your primary focus. Once you have that locked down, it's a DPS check. Remember to bring your max DPS. Best of luck in securing your kill. So this is one of the first platforms we go to after starting the encounter. We're burning the shield down, and as you can see it gets low, we slow down, continue our DPS, and move on to the next one. He goes through his moo now, and then cast activate weather cycle. This is a lightning one, so we just book it and get out. Then we go through the rotation again of burning the shield, burning the shield. Move on to the next platform. Get knocked back. Burn through the shield. And then move on to the other platform. So we go through the Moo again, then he casts his next weather cycle, this one's air, so just dodging the lines, going to whatever weather station I was assigned to. We actually have a group leader for this one, so that's who I have focus, so I always know which one to go to. We're grabbing people back after the Typhoon. 
Looking back to DPSing, looking for weather stations. There, I got knocked back. Here we get the wind walls. You can see them being put on the sides. Um, trying to avoid the areas we're going to be going to. Pull back another Typhoon. I had to book it off the platform. As you can see, there's a lot of moving in this, so getting used to using those grappling hooks is very important. I used to actually think you had to have the little um, floaty things selected. As you can see, I'm doing it right here. Um, you actually don't just be in the area kind of pointed at it and you'll be fine. So I used to fall off all the time. I didn't know how everyone was getting around so fast. That would be why. So this is an ice phase, destroying platforms. You can see we have the puddles. Some of them aren't put down as well, but we're out trying to keep it in the middle or on the outside. So, you know, no one's running into them. Now we have an ice breath. This is one of the big reasons why puddle placement is important so you don't run into it. That's it. And that wraps it up for this encounter. If this video helped you, please drop it a like. For any questions, please use the comments below. Of course, subscribe to this channel for more Wildstar raid videos and entertainment, or visit us on redvelvetninjas.com.